Welcome back to Fascinating History. Today we take an exciting journey through what life was like for Native Americans before Columbus. Step back in time and let's embark on a thrilling journey through the vibrant tapestry of pre-Columbian America. Before Columbus set sail, the Americas were buzzing with life, teeming with diverse cultures, languages, and innovations. Picture a world where the air was alive with the melodies of hundreds of languages echoing through forests, plains, and deserts, each carrying the unique stories and wisdom of Native American tribes. But wait, erase those old notions of primitive communities. These were societies of astounding complexity and achievement. Imagine the democratic governance of the Iroquois Confederacy in the Northeast, where leaders from different tribes gathered under the great law of peace, ensuring harmony and balance prevailed. Or cast your gaze to the Southwest, where the Pueblo peoples engineered ingenious irrigation systems to coax life from the arid earth, crafting cliffside dwellings that still inspire awe today. But how did these complex societies, with their deep spiritual beliefs and impressive achievements in agriculture and architecture, shape the world we know today? Well, let's get started. Diverse Cultures and Societies Before Columbus's arrival, the Americas were a mosaic of diverse cultures and societies, each with its unique languages, traditions, and social structures. This diversity was not just vast, but deeply rooted in the continent's various landscapes, from the dense forests of the Northeast to the vast plains of the Midwest and the rugged terrains of the Southwest. The linguistic diversity among Native American tribes is a testament to their rich cultural heritage. With hundreds of languages spoken across the continent, each language group encapsulated the unique experiences, philosophies, and histories of its people. These languages were not merely tools for communication, but were integral to the tribe's identities, carrying with them stories of creation, survival, and connection to the land. Tribal societies varied greatly in their social structures and governance. In the Northeast, the Iroquois Confederacy exemplified a sophisticated system of governance with the Great Law of Peace. This democratic constitution governed the alliance of the Mohawk, Oneida, Onondaga, Cayuga, Seneca, and later the Tuscarora tribes. This confederacy was a model of federal governance, emphasizing collective decision-making, individual rights, and the welfare of the community. In the southeast, the Cherokee and other tribes developed complex clan systems, with matrilineal descent determining social status and leadership roles. These societies were highly organized, with a keen focus on agricultural production, trade, and ceremonial activities that reinforced communal bonds and cultural continuity. The Great Plains were home to nomadic tribes like the Sioux and Comanche, whose lives were intricately tied to the bison. Their social organization was flexible, adapting to the migratory patterns of the bison herds. The Plains tribes developed a rich equestrian culture, and their social structures emphasized warrior societies and age-grade systems, which organized men into groups based on age for communal tasks and defense. In the Southwest, the Pueblo people built complex, multi-story dwellings and were renowned for their advanced agricultural techniques, intricate art, and pottery. Their societies were centered around communal living, with a deep spiritual connection to the land evident in their kivas, underground ceremonial chambers, and the intricate rituals performed therein. Community life across these diverse cultures was deeply connected to the natural world, with seasonal cycles dictating agricultural practices, ceremonies, and social gatherings. Despite the vast differences in their environments and lifestyles, a common thread among these societies was the value placed on community, respect for the land, and the intergenerational transmission of knowledge and traditions. Innovations and Achievements one of the most transformative innovations was the domestication of crops such as maize, beans, and squash, known as the Three Sisters. These crops were cultivated in complementary agricultural systems that maximized soil fertility and yield, demonstrating an early understanding of sustainable farming practices. Maize, in particular, became a staple food across the Americas, supporting large populations and leading to the development of complex societies. The agricultural practices of Native Americans were not just about food production, they were deeply intertwined with their cosmological beliefs and social structures, often reflected in their rituals and ceremonies that honored the Earth's bounty. In architecture, Native American societies constructed monumental structures that remain awe-inspiring today. 
The mound-building cultures of the Mississippi River Valley, such as those at Cahokia, created vast ceremonial centers featuring massive earthen mounds. Cahokia's Monk's Mound is the largest pre-Columbian earthwork in the Americas and served as the center of a city that, at its peak around 1100 CE, was one of the most significant urban centers in the world. Similarly, in the southwest, the ancestral Puebloans built elaborate stone cities, such as Chaco Canyon, which served as a major center of culture, trade, and astronomy. These architectural feats required sophisticated engineering knowledge and a deep understanding of astronomical phenomena, as many structures were aligned with celestial events. Technological innovations also flourished, such as the development of the atlatl, a spear-throwing device that increased the distance and force with which a spear could be thrown, revolutionizing hunting techniques. Pottery, another significant advancement, varied widely across cultures, with designs that reflected the unique aesthetic and functional needs of each community. Weaving and textile production were highly developed, with techniques for making intricate patterns and for dyeing fabric. Metallurgy in the Americas, particularly in the Andean region, was advanced, with techniques for smelting and alloying metals such as gold, silver, and copper long before European contact. Art and Symbolism Petroglyphs, or rock carvings, are among the earliest forms of Native American art found throughout the continent from the desert southwest to the northeastern woodlands. These carvings depict a wide range of subjects, from animals and humans to abstract symbols and celestial bodies, reflecting the rich spiritual and cultural life of the communities. Petroglyphs served multiple purposes. As sacred markers of significant places, storytelling devices, and records of astronomical observations, thereby linking the people to their ancestors, the natural world, and the cosmos. Totem poles, primarily associated with the indigenous peoples of the Pacific Northwest, are monumental sculptures carved from large trees, depicting a series of figures representing animals, mythical beings, and ancestors. These poles served as emblematic representations of family lineage, clan stories, and social status, embodying the interconnectedness of the community, the natural world, and the spiritual realm. Major Pre-Columbian Civilizations The Maya civilization, flourishing in the Yucatan Peninsula and surrounding areas from around 250 to 900 CE, was renowned for its sophisticated writing system astronomical and calendrical systems, and monumental architecture. Maya society was organized into city-states, each governed by a king and comprising a complex hierarchy of nobles, priests, craftsmen, and farmers. The economy was based on agriculture, with maize being the staple crop, supplemented by trade in goods such as jade, cocoa, and feathers. The Maya made groundbreaking advancements in mathematics, including the use of zero, and developed a highly accurate calendar system. Their pyramids, temples, and palaces, such as those in Tikal and Palenque, are architectural marvels, and their detailed hieroglyphic inscriptions provide invaluable insights into their history, politics, and cosmology. The Inca Empire, which emerged in the early 15th century and extended across western South America, was remarkable for its vast territory. Sophisticated road system and unique administrative, architectural, and agricultural techniques. Centered in Cusco, the Inca society was highly organized, with a centralized government led by the Sapa Inca. The economy was based on a system of communal labor, mita, and the redistribution of resources. The Incas excelled in engineering, constructing extensive road networks, terraced fields that transformed mountainous terrain into arable land, and agricultural wonders like Machu Picchu. Their quipu system, a complex set of knotted cords, was used for record-keeping and administration, demonstrating their innovative approaches to communication and management. These civilizations each left an indelible mark on the cultural and technological landscape of the Americas. Their achievements in architecture, agriculture, engineering, and mathematics not only underscored their ability to adapt and thrive in diverse environments, but also contributed to a rich cultural heritage that influenced subsequent societies across the continent. The legacy of these civilizations, from the Mayans' calendrical system to the Incas' road networks, continues to fascinate and inform, offering a testament to the complexity and richness of pre-Columbian history.
So what aspect of pre-Columbian Native American life do you find the most fascinating and why? Let us know down below and as always see you in the next video.